Fred and Cat kicked me out. Thrice and once the hedge pit whined. Harper cries, tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron goes and poisoned entails throw. Toad that under cold stone days and nights has 31 sweltered ventum sleeping god. Boil through first I the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. of a finny snake in the cauldron and boil and bake. I am newt and toe of frog, wool of bat, and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm sting. Lizard's leg and owl's wing. Flesh! <laughs> Owlet's wing! <laughs> Owl or mm -hmm. there. For a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth boil and bubble. Double, double, double boil and, and trouble, fire burn and, and cauldron bubbles. Scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, witch's mummy. Maw and gulf of the raven sea shark. Root of hemlock. Dig uh, in the dark. Liver of the blaspheming Jew. And slips of you. Slivered in the moon's eclipse. Nose of Turk. And Tartar's lips. Ah, uh, so Finger of birth strangled babe delivered by a drab. Make the gull thick and slab. Add dead row tiger's chaudron for the ingredients of our cauldron. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burns and cauldron bubble. Then the charm is firm and good. Yep. Oh, well done. I commend your pain, and everyone shall share in the game. And now about the cauldron sing, live elves and fairies in a ring, and chanting all that you put in music and song. The pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Open not, whoever knows. You secret black in midnight hags. What is to do? A, a deed, deed without, without a name. I conjure you by that which you profess. However you come to know it, answer me. Though you untie the winds and let them fight against the churches, though the yeasty waves can sound and swallow navigation up, though bladed corn be lodged and trees blown down. Though castles topple on their warders' heads, though palaces and pyramids do slope their heads to their foundations, though the treasure of nature's dreamings stumble all together, even till destruction sicken, answer me to what I ask you. Speak. Demand. Will answer. Say if thou'd rather hear it from my mouth or from our masters. Cold, let me see him. Pour in sow's blood that hath eaten her nine pharaoh streets that sweeten from the murderer's giblet throw into the flame. Come all, oh, come high or low, thy stone office deep light show. Tell me, thou unknown power. He knows thy thoughts, hear his speech, but say thou not. Beware, beware, beware the thing of might, dismiss me, enough. Return thou art, for thy good caution, 
Thanks. Thou hast taught my fear aright. But one word more. He will not be commanded. He hears another. More potent than the first. Had I three years, I'd hear thee. Be bold and resolute, not to scorn the power of man, for none of woman born shall harm it better. Then leave, Mixta. What need I fear of thee? Yet I'll make assurance double sure, and take a bond of fate. Thou shalt not live, that I may tell hell hard and feel it vibes, and sleep in spite of thunder. Live in, but speak not. Be lion melted, cloud, and take no care. Who chaps, who wets, or where the spears are. Macbeth shall never vanquish be until great Burnham wood to high destiny, hill shall come against him. That will never be. Who can impress the forest, bid the tree, unfix his earthbound root? Sweet Potamus, good. Rebellion's head rise never till the wood of Burnham rise, and our high place Macbeth shall live the lease of nature, pay his breath to time and mortal custom. Yet my heart throbs to no one thing. Tell me, if your arch can tell so much, shall Banquo's issue ever reign in this kingdom? Seek to, to know, know no more. more. I will be satisfied. Deny me this, and an eternal curse fall upon all on you. Let me know, why sinks that cauldron, and what noise is this? Show, show, show. Eyes and grieve his heart, come like shadows, so depart. Too like the spirit of Banquo. Down! Thy crown is here, mine eyeballs, and thy hair, thou other gold bound brow, is like the first, a third is like the former. Filthy heads! Why do you show me this? A fourth, start eyes! What? Will the line stretch out to the crown of doom? Another, yet a seventh! I'll say no more, and yet the eighth appears who bears a glass. Which shows me many more, and some I see that two fold balls and troubled scepters carry. Horrible sights! Now I see, tis true, for the blood vulture Pankpo smiles upon me and points at them for his. I, sir, all this is so, but wise, down to Macbeth this amazing me. Come, sisters, cheer we up his spirits and show the best of our life. I'll charm the air to give a sound while you perform your antics round that this great king may kindly say our duties did his welcome pay. Carry on my wayward son There'll be peace when you are done Gone, let this pernicious hour stand I accursed in the calendar. Come in without there. What's your grace's will? Have you saw you the wood sisters? No, my lord. Can they not buy you? No, indeed, my lord. Infected be the air whereon they ride. And damned all that those that trust them. I did hear the galloping of horse. Who else came by? Tis two or three, my lord, that bring you word that Macduff has fled to England. Fled to England? Aye, my good lord. Time thou anticipatest my dread exploits. The flighty purpose is now took, unless the deed go with it. From this moment, the very firstlings of my heart shall be the firstlings of my hand. And even now, to crown my thoughts with that, be it thought and done. 
the castle of Macduff I will surprise. Seeds upon fife, give to the edge of the sword his wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that trace him in his line. No boasting like a fool, this deed I'll do before this purpose fool. But no more sights! Where are these gentlemen? Come, bring me where they are. Carry on my wayward son, there'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest, don't you cry no more.